Hello, welcome to Fire Dojo. Uh, I'm really behind in my videos. Uh, today happens to be uh, Monday, August 15th, I think. So um, today we're going to be looking at a couple plants that would be handle spindle plants if they had um, if they qualified, but they don't qualify. Now, just because a plant is known to be a handrail spindle plant, that doesn't mean you can use it as a handrail spindle if you find it. And uh, so, uh, as it turns out, for the past few weeks, my lawnmower is broken, so I have not been mowing the lawn. So a couple plants have come up because they were spared, because the lawnmower doesn't work. And so, um, these handrail plants are here, but you can't use them because they don't qualify. All right, so uh, we're gonna start right here on the lawn. So right here is a, is a chicory. Now, if a chicory was, you could back up. Oh, by the way, Jake is holding the camera. Thank you very much. So, chicory, uh, if it was really tall, like really tall, and matured and left alone, chicory is, is possibly uh, a handrail plant if the stalk could be big enough. But even though you found a chicory, it doesn't qualify, obviously. Just so where uh, you shouldn't just go by names. You have to go about how it qualifies. So right here, <laughs> we have a bull thistle, but obviously it doesn't qualify, right? So we have a uh, Circium vulgari, right? And uh, it doesn't qualify. So these plants here, and Jake, you can come over the top here, right? See how thin they are? They're like toothpick thinness. These ones here, so this one, <laughs> these are all the same plant that I'm holding with these white and yellow flowers, these aster-like flowers. See how thin these are? Uh, this one down here, right? And over here, this one's a better specimen. Right here, Jake, take a good look at the flowers down here. This is Daisy Fleabane. And uh, Daisy Fleabane, it's, it's possible to get a handle spindle out of it if you could find one that's big enough and mature enough. And obviously these ones never got the nutrients or were left alone long enough to qualify to be able to grow to that that size, right? So, going back here, uh, this plant here is a giant ragweed. It's a uh, ambrosia species. And uh, obviously, it is not giant <laughs> right now because these things can grow to be like seven feet tall. And uh, there's no way that this is big enough to qualify as a handrail spindle, but it's kind of let go. Now this right here, this is a very famous handrail spindle, right? It's a horseweed, but look at it. Look how thin, look how thin it is. It obviously doesn't qualify as a spindle. This one too is a horseweed. And again, does not qualify. So, two more horse weeds over here. This one. Here. And this one here is horse weed. Now, interestingly, here we have uh, this brown plant here is a uh, curly dock, Rumex crispus. And uh, if it were big enough, it would have qualified as a handle spindle. But alas, 
it died and it, it does not. This one too is a Rumex Christmas. It is a yellow curly dock. And again, does not qualify. Okay, now behind you, Jake, down here, this is burdock, a giant burdock. However, this is a first year, not a second year. So a first year, you just have the rosette. There's no stalk. And so if you wanted to, the root of this great burdock, you could eat now. We could pull it out now, cook it and eat it. Um, when it becomes a second year and it has a stalk, it grows a flower and a stalk, then you could use that um, for a handle spindle. So we're a year early for this plant and next year you cannot use the root as a food. Uh, it'll be too fibrous next year. So coming over here we have another uh, bull thistle which does not qualify. Here we have, we have a pile wart, which uh, this is obviously not big enough, but if you get a large enough pile wart, um, you have to be very careful when you harvest them because they're very, very fragile. The only part that really works is like the two inches down by the root, connected to the root, the base. So you have to be very careful. More uh, horse weeds. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, horse weeds. Here we have a uh, curly yellow dock, but it's first year. These are the rosettes, so there's no stalk. So we're a year early, so it doesn't qualify. Now, over here, down here, we have a bunch of uh, Canada thistle, which if they grow big enough, will qualify, but they're very fragile. So there's another daisy flea vein. This is the Canada thistle. And it obviously doesn't qualify as a handle spindle. Now, Jake, back up. Look at this specimen. This is a horseweed. And when it mature, when it's, uh, it's going to seed now, the flowers are leaving, it's going to seed at the first um, frost, when it dies, I'll be able to harvest this and it will be an angel spindle, this one. This is the only plant on my property that's been allowed to get this big because it sits where I can't mow it. Now here's an interesting one. This uh, this plant was growing back here behind the stairs, and it is a Canada lettuce. But unfortunately, uh, a storm knocked it over, and uh, so now it's uh, it's broken up into pieces, and it's no good. So back here, I have some horse weeds, but they don't qualify because they're too small. So. Um, so there's some practice in identifying some plants that are known to be handrails, but they don't qualify. Um, and there's a pokeweed right there. Oh, back here. It's hard to see down here under the stairs. But these are also Canada lettuces which they can't grow because they're under my stairs. So, all right. And that, and that's our quick uh, plant walk of handrails that don't qualify that you can't use, but you could use if they were allowed to mature, if they were left alone. So, all right, until next time, see you later.